The brain is a very nice tool to have if you know how to use it. Otherwise, it's just a piece of meat that's making you heavier. That's it. Here we have a gold shell mini doge miner that came in for repair. We already disassembled the device and it looks something like this. A lot of heat sinks. And the customer said, and the customer said it's very common for the six pin connector to burn and melt. Let me show you what's going on. It looks like the customer attempted the repair. Right here, we see signs of flux and we see where that connector broke off from. We see a solder blob here, an attempt by the customer to fix or remove the broken pins. And if we flip the motherboard, more signs of solder on the back and a failed attempt. A lot of you may look at this as a connector replacement. Oh, a connector replacement. To us, it's much more than a connector replacement. It's a steady source of income for us. It's a new steady source of income where when somebody searches for gold shell, mini doge, burnt connector or connector replacement or anything that deals with the repair, they will be greeted with our video and they will end up shipping their device over here. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turned around. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. So this one here, it's a little challenging, right? We do not have the actual connector. How are we gonna be able to remove those broken pins? The customer already attempted to remove the pin. We can see solder from the back and from the front, but he was not able to. So this is not an average Joe repair job. We cannot apply a lot of heat in this area because of the cap that we have right here. We may have to remove this cap to safely work on this area. Otherwise, if we apply a lot of heat, this cap will end up popping. You've seen it happen in previous videos. So if we flip the board, we can remove this cap, no problem, but also we cannot apply heat because we have plastic here. We're gonna have to apply low melt solder. We can get rid of the cap. And let's start by doing that. Low melt solder is the keyword here. If you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, you can purchase low melt solder off our site along with all the other tools that we use on our bench here. Everything from original Ampec Flux, soldering station, hot air station, thermal camera, this amazing microscope which we currently have out of stock, but we are expecting a shipment in seven to 10 days. One of the highest quality microscopes in the market. How do I know? I do not. You should look at the image and see for yourself. Every video that we've done, we are using this microscope, the Northridge Fix microscope. We improved the microscope throughout the years, and now we have the latest and greatest. We're going to apply original impact flux right here. Fume extractor on. You can also purchase the fume extractor off our site, northwishfix.com. Click on shop, add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. You see, I'm applying 450 degrees Celsius, and the board is laughing in my face. Let's apply low melt solder. That board is thick. And now the cap is out. And that's the proper way to work on this connector. Safety comes first. Now we're gonna apply low melt solder on those six broken pins. 
And before we do so, how should we connect that connector? Should it go on the top like this or should it go on the bottom? Which way? Well, if you look at the joints here, we can easily figure it out, right? If you look at the joints here, this looks like the bottom. You can tell by that last pin on the right. Whereas if we flip the motherboard, and we look here, we can tell the connector is broken from the top. So the connector should sit like this. The pins are broken from the top. You have to use your brains. That piece of meat in your head. The brain is a very nice tool to have if you know how to use it. Otherwise, it's just a piece of meat that's making you heavier. That's it. That board is thick, so we're going to have to apply extra aluminum solder. We do not know what type of solder the customer used. But it doesn't matter. Look at this. I just pushed that pin down. We're going to do the same here. We're going to push that pin down. We're going to do the same thing here. Soak that pin with Lumel solder, and then we're going to push it down like so. Same here. Same here. We're going to push down. We're going to push down. And finally, now we're going to attack from the back. That's pin number one out. Now it's very easy to remove the pin because we soaked the holes with Lomal solder. That's what I call a true low melt solder. Now, since we have low melt solder in the holes, it should be easy to wick those holes. See? That's impossible to do if we have unleaded solder. Nearly impossible to do. See, because the board is thick, a lot of low melt solder is stuck inside the hole. So we have to use a lot of braid. The other way of doing it is hot air and enough that sucker. But I do not want to expose the board to a lot of heat, even though we took the cap out, but still. It's an expensive board. We're going to have to use more wick. Let's start from here. See? We're going to flip the board. So now that we clean the holes, we can solder the connector. Let's flip the board. And the connector will go in like this. All the way in. Just like that. And we're going to solder it from the back. Make sure all the pins are going through.
And we are done. And we have better than factory joints. Look at this. Look at those joints. Shining like a mirror, right? I always say, you can look at those joints to fix your hair. Your wife can do her makeup using that mirror-like joint. Or you can even use them as a security camera, as a security mirror, 360 degrees security mirror. What more do you want? Now the imperfections that you see here is because of the exposed mask on the board, like this here. So we just applied the Northridge Fix UV mask. We do carry them in blue, green, and red. I think the red may be out of stock, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. When you log into the site, you'll know. So let's turn the UV light on and just a tiny bit of hot air to help with the curing of the mask. I did a whole video about how to use solder mask. And I explained how hot air helps with the curing of the mask. And now, of course, everyone uses that method. And that's a good thing. Sharing is caring. That's why I share the information that I share. I do not keep it to myself. Beautiful. Now we're going to flip the board. Let me just clean the mess the customer did over here. Not a mess, but the residue of flux. All right, so I fully cleaned the customer's board. Let's flip it. Flip that board. And now we're going to solder the capacitor from the back do our final cleanup and then we're going to call the customer to come and pick up the customer is local and he's going to be very happy this device is over a thousand dollars it depends on which version you buy And the cap will go in like this, flip the board, and solder it from the back. So I'm grabbing the cap with my finger, just like that. And now we're going to solder it from the back. We removed all leftovers of low melt solder. We do not want low melt solder to stay on the board because low melt solder is brittle and you should not solder using low melt solder. You only desolder using low melt. All 
All right, and we're done. So the capacitor went back in place right here, and we have the connector right here, and that's how the device looks like. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.